Hello and welcome Virgo. I hope everyone's doing well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign or a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards that resonates for you. You may also like to think of a question that you'd like to receive guidance on or an answer to before the reading begins. And by the end of the reading, the answer or the guidance will be revealed in the cards for you. Let's take a look at your first message here. And it's the energy of detachment. Manifest plainness, embrace simplicity, reduce selfishness, and have few desires. When you are able to identify the natural tendency of the wanting mind for more, you will not be caught in negative emotions when they are unfulfilled. You can then learn how to detach from the outcome and hold the pure intention of enjoying the process of whatever you are doing in the now. Welcome each day as new and exciting and let unimaginable opportunities flow freely into your life. If you're able to recognize what you are attached to and release that attachment, it's an unhealthy attachment, then you will unleash the blessings of the universe upon you. New opportunities will flow into your life freely. You'll be opening up your heart, your mind and your arms to receive so there's going to be an um, immense benefit to recognizing what it is that you might be holding on to and that you're attached to and you're needing to let go of this. Pure efforts. Enlightenment is not your birthright. Those who succeed do so only through proper effort. Consider all spiritual teachings as an intellectual exercise to be practiced daily diligently and with discipline. This constant effort to maintain your daily practice is central to all spiritual practices that bring about personal transformation. So you're needing to put in more effort to your spiritual practice or start a spiritual practice. This is what spirit, your angels and guides are asking of you in the next week, in the next few weeks, is to put in the effort and you will see your prayers answered. They will be heard. They will be answered. And there's um, going to be immense benefit here for you. If you decide to do this, it is a choice, it is a choice, but um, they are prompting you to put more energy and effort into your spiritual practice, whatever that may be. And we have the energy of forgiveness. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. By practicing forgiveness, you can find new meaning to life's worst events. As love and compassion combine in the sacred space of the heart, they are released as a powerful energy and everything changes. All possibilities again become open to you. So there is a need for forgiveness. Maybe it's forgiveness of something that you have done to others or to yourself. Maybe it's forgiveness of a, another person, but you know in your heart what needs to be forgiven. Self-acceptance. To be beautiful means to be yourself. You don't need to be accepted by others. You need to accept yourself. Once you accept who you are, you don't have to struggle to be someone you are not. You are truly free to explore or fully explore the talents and special gifts that you were born with. This is a call to action from spirit to sink in to your heart. So then you're able to, you will be able to discover the special gifts that you have. And they may not be fully uncovered at the moment. So you can use these special gifts and skills in service of other people in the world. Your purpose in life can only be flourished by your, your self-acceptance. So, so this is key, um, self-acceptance, needing to be yourself, being authentically you. 
accepting a situation maybe as well I do see that for someone you're needing to accept a situation for what it is so you can move forward move on maybe forgiveness is a part of that but you'll know in your heart what spirit is talking about here for you Virgo There may be a Pisces of significance in your life, perhaps. We have a Pisces card here. Higher purpose. Align yourself with love and wisdom. So we have a prompt here from Spirit um, in several of the cards that there's, there's more to a situation than what you can see at the moment. There is a higher purpose. There's a higher vision. There's something higher going on. There's something else going on than what you realize. You may have a cancer in your life. Um, maybe a significant factor in your own chart as well and this card speaks about belonging are you feeling like you're wanting to belong more um, in a community setting in the workplace a sensitive introspective phase so first you have to come back to this self-acceptance or acceptance of a situation and then you'll be able to move forward into a sense of belonging internally and in your environment and things may need to change for that to happen reevaluate relationships justice and fair play there's a rebalance that needs to happen maybe there's a libra in your life significance um, but there's something out of balance that needs to be balanced out there's a justice maybe there's a being an unfairness but you're definitely needing to reevaluate things so you might find that there is a circumstance over the next week or weeks where you are forced to reevaluate a relationship or a situation that you're in. You may have an Aries in your life. Believe in yourself, have courage, have strength, move forward with confidence okay so if you are um, if you are or have plans to do something and you're feeling doubtful move ahead with confidence and have courage there is fear with courage you know you, there can't be courage without fear so it's recognizing that fear and doing it anyway believing in yourself So we have eternal union. New love is forming in your life. This is a great card for companionship. It is a great card for friendship or a love romantic relationship that may be forming. It could be new or it might be um, a renewal of a commitment. Galactic healer. Move forward with an open mind. So there is Again, there is more to the story than what you are being told or there's a higher purpose that you're being guided toward. Move forward with confidence and also with an open mind. So try not to limit yourself with your mindset. Shield your energy. Look beneath the surface. There is something going on here, maybe in a relationship, or you will see that there's something more going on beneath the surface this week with something. And, uh, you know, you're needing to shield your energy, maybe from negativity, shield your energy, protect your energy, protect your situation. There's expansion here, educate your mind and senses. So expansion of the mind, you might be learning uh, new skills, you might be moving into a new situation with which then, of course, you're learning through a journey. There is a new situation and, ex and an expansion of some kind that is on the way for you, which I love. This is a very positive blessing for you. We have the animal realm, the angel of the animal realm. So we have animals, pets. Um, there could be a focus on a pet or they, you might be looking at um, rescuing, volunteering an organization to do with animals. Could be nature, wild animals. There's something significant there for someone, an important message. The parking angel. This is about manifesting with the help of God, manifesting what you want whether it is as simple as a parking space or whether it is a dream 
that you want to um, move toward. It is possible with this card showing up. You have the chakra balancing angel. So yes, again, we have that message of, um, of balance needing to come into play in your life in a big way. Um, whether it's health or physical, I see that for someone. It might be to do with your relationship dynamic, maybe your work. There's a maybe pressure on you. There is something that needs to be looked at here. And the angel of truth. And again, we have a message suggesting that there is a truth revealed. There is um, something uncovered or something that is hidden that will become uncovered. You will know the truth. An inner truth, perhaps. Maybe it is um, an inner truth. But uh, yeah, definitely a truth is coming out. There is um, something will be revealed or has been revealed that's significant. The tower energy, so this can mean there is a disruption. Something needs to fall down. The tower you can see on this image is crumbling. Something needs to crumble, an idea, a perception, a relationship, a job. Something needs to break down before it can be rebuilt and become stronger. And that's the focus of this card and message is that you will become stronger and you will be laying a solid foundation in the future. But this situation needs to be removed from your life. The Four of Cups is about having things available to you, having abundance or prosperity available to you, but you're looking the other way. So there may be an opportunity here for you, but you need to see it. So it's about opening your eyes and your heart to a new situation, to um, maybe even looking at what you have already and seeing the blessings in it. With the, the Tower and the Four of Cups together, it really speaks of looking at this Tower moment or event, this breakdown, whatever this is in your life, and you want to look away from it because it seems bad. But if you look at squarely face on, you're going to see that there's actually these um, this prosperity that will grow from it. And the six of cups, this energy is, um, it can mean, it can mean that you're thinking about things to do with the past. So it can be a prompt to come back to the present moment. It can also indicate that there is a thinking or an interaction important with children. Um, there's also a connection with the inner child. You might be working with the inner child. Um, and there's also a longing here from your heart that I can see for simpler times or to go back to an old situation. So reminiscing, nostalgia. Um, it's again a prompt not to stay there and it's to move into the present moment. The five of coins. There's been a loss or disappointment around the, your physical life, whether it's your health, your wealth, money, job. There's been a loss associated with your material life could be connected to this tower energy the five of cups emotional disruption emotional upheaval emotional uh, loss grief difficulty the fives are temporary energies they will pass but they can be challenging when they come up i feel it's linked to this tower energy whatever this is for you in your life but notice here the cups are broken. This is what you're looking at, but you actually have two cups remaining. So seeing the silver lining, looking at the blessings that you still have. And this is judgment. So we have um, a decision that's been made um, and it's, it's something that cannot be changed. This decision may come from you or someone else. It can't be changed, but it is you know, going back to this tower, it's something that needed to happen so you can grow, so you can become in the best position that you can be in your life. Let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask Spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. The answer is yes. So check in with your heart and see if this answer resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.